Hey guys, so it's been a while since I filmed a video. I feel like that's how I start every video. <laughs> um, but I thought I would do a favorites video this month. I didn't do one last month, but um, I don't actually have a lot of favorites this month, but um, what the hell, why not? So the first thing, I feel like I need to zoom in. I got lash extensions. I just got them last week. Um, you can see they're very natural looking. I just got partials, but um, I haven't been wearing. Whoa, let's zoom back out. <laughs> um, I haven't really been wearing much eye makeup, period, since I got them because I actually like how I look better without makeup on my eyes since I got them. Because you really shouldn't wear mascara or eyeliner on your. Um, upper lash line and um I just feel like they look really nice and natural and fluffy but if I wear makeup they're not quite like enough <laughs> for me and I don't want to put mascara on top of them and uh yeah so but the place I went to they they did such a great job um it's a place called Bridal Beauty Salon in um it's on North Damon in Bucktown and I actually had a Groupon but they wouldn't even let me use it because they were doing some um, construction in the building and um, the owner came in while I was getting it done and told me that she didn't want me to have to pay because of all the noise so I was like that is amazing <laughs> but um, obviously I still tipped the um, the woman who did my lashes her name was Jackie she was so great um, I still tipped her on the full amount even though I um, didn't pay because obviously she's still doing the work so she should still get tipped <laughs> but um, anyways and she was great but so far I'm really liking them um, it's a little bit of there was a little bit of maintenance I'm not washing my face in the shower I'm trying not to face the shower because you don't want to um, do anything to, to like get them to fall out faster usually they last about three weeks um I'm trying not to rub my eyes at all sometimes they do need a little bit of like zhuzhing because they kind of overlap sometimes or they clump against each other also what's really funny I'm not used to this happening ever is like things like fluff and things get caught in them because they're so long <laughs> so um yeah it's a uh, it's a new experience for me but I'm really liking them and it's nice to kind of have a lower maintenance routine going on so aside from like the shower stuff it's been pretty um easy breezy so I feel like I would do it again who knows it was it was fun so anyways now that I've gotten that out of the way um so even though it is getting to be really warm I just got my air conditioners put back in the other day and thank God, because yesterday it was like high 80s and I was dying. Um, if I didn't have my air conditioners, you wouldn't have wanted to look at me. But even though it's getting warm out, all of a sudden I want fall candles. <laughs> I'm very seasonally thrown off right now. But um, I got this one from Urban Outfitters recently. And I'm so, like, I'm so happy to see more um, soy candles being sold in um more places because I feel like I buy like Yankee and um well not even Yankee Yankee's hard to find too but I buy Bath and Body Works candles a lot because they're so accessible and but really I would prefer to buy more natural candles but anyways this one is called Amber and Moss and these actually have really great throw for being such small candles at least this one does it's kind of like a masculine amber woodsy scent and it's very sexy but I'm liking this a lot I've already burned it halfway through but I definitely want to mention this because it smells amazing also one foodie type thing this month um, besides the fact that I have been olives and pickles everything like I am craving olives and pickles so much right now it's not even not even okay but I'm actually really uh, loving this is my last one and last night I went to, to grab it out of the fridge and I was like what it's the last one and I didn't even want to drink it because 
I was like, maybe I'll want it more tomorrow. <laughs> um, but this is called the Spindrift Seltzer and it's made with fresh pressed cucumbers. There's no sugar added. Um, it has four calories. It's made with sparkling water, fresh cucumber juice, natural flavor, and citric acid. So it's pretty freaking natural. I got this from Trader Joe's, but it actually tastes delicious, which I know a lot of like unsweetened sparkling beverages can be a shocker if you're used to sodas and things like that, but I'm really liking this. Also, um, I'm starting to like LaCroix more and more too. I feel like the longer it's been since I've drank soda, the more I like the more natural, less sweetened things. So, um, anyways, oh, so this, this is from Origins. It's called the Buy, Buy All Greens. Oh, so punny. Um, it's a foaming deep cleansing mask with green tea, spirulina, and spinach. Um, they call it a mask, but I've actually been using it as a cleanser. This is, was a deluxe sample, if you can believe it, from Sephora. It was one that you do like a promo code. But this lasted me like two weeks using it morning and night. And I was using it as a cleanser, which I love it as a cleanser. So it comes out, it has a pump and it comes out like this green color. And then when you rub it into your face, it turns into a white foam and then it kind of disappears. And like it just becomes a cleanser. So I've been using that. It's been great for cleaning, cleansing my skin since I haven't been um, I usually use the Glow Mud Cleanser by Pixie in the shower, but um, since I'm not taking a shower, or not taking a shower, I'm still taking showers, since I'm not washing my face in the shower, this is much easier to use. And it smells amazing. If you like the smell of Origins Make a Difference um, moisturizer and A Perfect World, I can't remember which one this smells like, but it smells like one of those, and oh, it's delicious smelling smells so good. I love this kind of like herbally. I want to my whole like self to smell this kind of smell. And it bugs me that it's like hard to find fragrances that smell like this stuff. <laughs> so anyways, um, I actually was at an Aveda store recently and I was telling the cashier that I wish that there was a perfume that smelled like the volumizing tonic. And she thought that was hilarious. She's like, I've never heard anyone say anything like that before. But it's like, Really? Nobody wants to smell like Aveda? I feel like everybody wants to smell like Aveda. It smells delicious. So anyways, um, speaking of smelling delicious, I don't know if I've ever talked about this brand in a video before and I love it and I've been using it for years. So I was like, um, I should probably mention it. This, these two things are from a brand called Farmhouse Fresh. This is the Marshmallow Melt Shea Butter for Body. And you can see it comes in a gorgeous, gorgeous glass bottle with a pump. And this is, sorry, I can't, when I watch my videos back, it seems like they're not too bright, but when I'm like looking in the viewfinder, it looks like it's too bright. This is the um, Fluffy Bunny Shea Butter Hand Cream. And so Fluffy Bunny is, it says it is lavender mint julep scented. Oh my God, this is like my the smell. Whoa. A bunch just came out. So I'm going to put some on my hands right now. But I don't love the container it's in because I hate this kind of cap. But oh my god, it smells so good. It really does smell like mint. There's a tiny touch of lavender, but it's more like a creamy, like real mint smell. And I love it. And like the box it comes in has a picture of a white bunny on it. And it's so cute. But um, and this lotion, holy crap. So it's called Marshmallow Melt, and it really does smell like marshmallows and like cotton candy to me. It smells delicious, and it's very moisturizing. It sinks into the skin really well. I mean, you can tell I love it. I've used like half the bottle already. And um, I've had this not that long. I think I got it around Christmas time. But you can buy um, Farmhouse Fresh on Amazon. They sell it other places too, but it's kind of hard to find. They, spell, they mostly sell it at like spas and things like that. But it's, um, I believe, yeah, it's a, it's a natural brand, but I mean like this says it's 90% natural. So it's a weird, what, what does that mean? 90% natural. So it's only 10% garbage. I <laughs> just, I don't know. But anyways, they, they smell 
super delicious but yeah like I said the downside is that they're harder to find but they make a lot of fun like face masks and things like that too I used to have access to this brand at a store in Orlando which is how I first was introduced to it but um I love this stuff and I wish they made body mists and fragrances and these smells too <laughs> I'm obsessed with scented things pretty much as much as I'm obsessed with lipstick honestly it's been like a lifelong thing so uh let's talk about these two things first I'm like almost done already I told you I didn't have a lot this month um the next thing finally it's been like a year not even joking since the last chilling adventures of Sabrina came out but number five yeah number five came out I think last week and I literally went to the comic store, comic book store, like right when they opened. I was actually there before they opened and stood outside the door. <laughs> and then I ran in, got my comic book, and then I read it on the bus on my way to work. And these are just, oh, I can't even, like, they're so good. I love them so much. But I think the next one is coming out in July. So hopefully they're getting their schedule back on track because people don't want to wait a year like the gem comics they come out once a month like clockwork so yeah I don't know then the next thing speaking of dark reads um I'm reading this book called Still Missing by Chevy Stevens I have about 100 pages left but this book is so twisted oh my god I read another book this month I read the book The Liar by Nora Roberts I've never read anything by Nora Roberts before but my mom thought I would like it and I read it pretty quickly but I didn't love it like I, I enjoyed it but I like things that are like it reminded me of like a lifetime movie but I want something that's like I like if I'm gonna read a book like that I want it to be a little bit darker I want it to be more twisted I want to not guess what the twists are gonna be which I kind of guessed what they were gonna be way ahead in that book and yeah it was good though it was like it's like Nicholas Sparks or something <laughs> like I haven't even read Nicholas Sparks books but it's like Nicholas Sparks movies it was like a guilty pleasure read so anyways the last things are my makeup things like I said I have not been wearing much eye makeup so I feel like eh, talking about eye makeup right now pointless but I really love this Urban Decay Naked Skin one and done hybrid complexion perfector SPF 20 <laughs> everything always has such long names um I use the shade medium light I'm wearing it today I do use powder with it because it is not matte at all it's like a set it's kind of like a set it's not super dewy but it's not matte at all and right now it's hot out so but um I feel like it really gives like nice coverage and makes your skin look really nice and I've been having pretty like my skin's been doing all right right now so I feel like I can get away with less like high coverage and um yeah I just use like a damp uh Real Technique sponge with this and I really love it and I love that it has a pump and it's like non-breakable it's yeah good stuff so I like that a lot and then of course I have to talk about lip products so first of all well first of all I'll show you this one this one is from Bite Beauty from the sweet and savory collection it's an amuse bouche lipstick in the shade thistle i swatched this on my lips in my last video it's such a cool unique cool toned purple um it's like it has almost like a brown undertone so i find it to be wearable i wore it out yesterday um and got compliments on it and i feel like it's not too out there so if you're afraid to try it kind of edgy lipsticks but want to ease into it that's a good one to start with and I love that formula next are these um NARS what are they calling these I can't remember what the name of these are lip covers that's right um I have two shades I have get dirty and overheated I love the outer packaging these are like boxes that are going to be hard to throw away for sure but um I don't think I actually talked about these in a video yet. One thing is like you have to be careful with these because the when I used one the other day too and did the same thing. It like kind of squirts out when you pull the applicator out. But um, what I like about these is that they're like super high pigmented glossy lipsticks and but you can um, mattify them. 
by kind of dabbing on them with a tissue but um this is overheated and that's get dirty i think they're such beautiful neutral shades i love them and then lastly uh these smashbox always on liquid matte lipsticks have got to be one of my absolute favorite liquid matte formulas i've tried to this date and obviously i have four colors so you know that i like them this one is on i always want to say on demand but it's in demand <laughs> um stepping out this is um uh out loud i always want to call that one on hold too and then this one is driver's seat driver's seat and stepping out i swatched um on my lips in my last video but i just recently acquired in demand and um out loud i posted swatches of out loud on instagram but I don't have swatches of in demand up yet. I'm gonna swatches in my hand real quick and come back because I'm low on battery and I'll show you the hand swatches. Okay, so this is in demand, stepping out, driver's seat, and out loud. Actually, the one that I've worn the most is surprising. It is driver's seat, but um, I think that in demand is similar to like Bear With Me by um, Dose of Colors. And Steppin' Out is kind of similar to Ashton by Anastasia and maybe Bow and Arrow by Kat Von D. I'm not a fan of the Kat Von D lipsticks, so I'm not positive. I don't really wear my Bow and Arrow very much. Out Loud is such a cool shade because it's really like a deep brown orange. It's very... It's, it's kind of an unusual shade to come across. I think the shade range is so great. I haven't actually seen them all in person yet, so... Let's hope I don't end up with more. But um, anyways, that's that's it for my favorites this month. Uh, it was a quick one. Whoop, whoop. So um, I'm also trying to get back into doing yoga and stuff. Uh, wish me luck. And I need to do better for my body. So yeah, but um, I'm trying to eat a little bit healthier and all that good stuff. Um, but it's hard when you work downtown. I feel like I'm I eat out a lot which is really bad. So anyways, um, I will talk to you guys soon. If you have any questions or requests, aside from makeup collection or lipstick collection, I got it. You want a video about that stuff. <laughs> um, let me know in the comments and hopefully I will be back in sooner than a month. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.